Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's get, get knocked, knocked over together. together. Yes! Proud surfing. Me. Even though I know everybody for some reason is just solidly. uniformly panicking as if, you know, they're all dingus. And they're the panicking spring. because the sprinkler is turned on, not because there was a giant ass explosion. Uh-huh. Everybody, huge explosion goes off in their faces, blasting some people away from the bar, collapsing and shattering things. Everyone, huh? huh? How interesting. I know. Wow, huh? People who have thrown on the floor going, I spilled my drink. Sprinklers turn on. Everyone, holy shit, it's real. Wow. Oh, what a world. What a world. I'm they're all, You know what? They're all profoundly allergic to water. On the other hand, like, Dylan couldn't, offended. Right. Couldn't, couldn't Dylan do something about this? Dylan. We, anyway, we're going to get knocked over. It's fine. Because Hi. no one else is getting knocked over. Just us. Ha. Ha. Dylan? I'm gonna say Rye or Phoenix. But it's water. Hi. It could be Phoenix because he's the with the explosion. Yeah, and so also maybe Phoenix. louder. That, whoa! I don't know. Aha! There we go! Yes! Yes! Got it, got it, got it, got it. Aha! Hi. Someone grabs hold of me, pulling me back on my feet. I'm going to get knocked over, and now I'm being pulled back to my feet. Does that mean I'm being knocked over currently? Hi. Hmm. I start to get knocked over, and then he grabs me and pulls me upright. Both things happened. I both was going to get knocked over and was pulled back to my feet. Yes. Yes. Got it. <sighs> Keeping me from falling Phoenix. over would have probably been better. As the whole crowd whooshes by us like a Woo! raging river. Blah, 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 blah. He wraps both arms around me, shielding me from the bodies. Not the people. The, the bodies. bodies. The bodies hit the floor. Small? The bodies Small? hit the floor. Are you okay? The bodies. I... Not the crowd, not the people, not the guests, not Again, the Again, I still think she's super disassociating. Oh, like, she I is. don't want to do this. She really is. She's like, I do not know how to handle this. Also, life again, I'm like, we couldn't have had very many people here at all at this venue, because as far as I know, we have nobody here. Also, I am personally really entertained that we mentioned Corey, but we never talk to Corey. Yeah, no. I go to go see the other guests, and what I talk to is... Caddy co-workers that I barely know because they're guest one and guest two. This is exactly the why I am annoyed about games like this. Because I'm like, this is not about, you know, women going, oh, wow, that's super cool. And not saying that women can't necessarily be jealous of each other. But I'm also like, or um, why the fuck do we always have to rely on this trope to bring out drama? Mm-hmm. Or the uncomfortable kind of like, I don't know what to say to you kind of thing. Even if it's not, you know, like, even, even if it isn't necessarily meant to be drama or I'm jealous, there can be a level of people going, I really only know you at work. I don't know how this to say This is super fucking weird. Congratulations for whatever this is. For an experience? Yeah, and going, I just I don't guess. know how to talk to you. Like, we don't we don't talk about you at work, and I don't know how to talk to you here, because right? I'm awkward or whatever. Anyway, um, but so shielding me from, from the bodies. bodies. So we have gone from the, maybe I can just have fun and forget that my life exists, to we are just associating out again. Yay! Bye. Bye. It's Yeet. being visited upon me. It's why I've I love been the, yoted. the gentle swing of his earring. Oh, he's angry. It's fine. It's very cute. It's I fine. like his earring. All right. Huh. Huh. Phoenix, are you okay? I Him. because he's wet. I'm, I'm, he's like, oh my like, god, you're not going this. to extinguish me with a little bit of sprinkle on the from the sky. Dylan, oh I'll my extinguish god. you. Yo, do you think you're the, touching her? Going, do you think the water dragons just extinguish us every time we get feisty? Oh my god, we turn them into vapor. It's amazing. It's no problem. I'm sorry, are you wet? I can fix that for you. Oh, well, I can fix it for everyone. That's fine. Yeah, I can fix it for all of us. You know what? I can just disable. Why is everyone having such an issue with water? Yeah. Like, oh. does water hurt regular humans? Mm. Is it, are oh, you're not okay? regular humans, so, so you're okay. <laughs> what happened? Oh, just some, a little, you know... Like an accident, so, really. So, like, I much... saw that there was this really cool technique one time on the YouTubes. Yeah. I said it was really cool when, like, somebody set this drink on fire, so I thought I would try it, and I didn't realize... It's a specific kind of drink. Is this really... Like, it only works in some circumstances. So, so I picked this... the most alcoholic thing I had, and also a combination of, basically, chemicals that I didn't realize, plus also my fire is actually based in something else. So, yeah. And it was a massive chemical reaction that I was not expecting. Dylan, Additionally... Come down! Do you know what? When the bartenders pour the drinks and they get the like alcohol all over the counter or the tray because they're just pouring right across the whole line, do you know what the entire counter goes up to? It's not just the drink, like all tidy in the video. Like it's Hi. it was an, it's kind of a, um, an accident anyway. Uh there's a guilty look on his face while he holds on to me, and I look up at his face as I'm squished against his chest. And he kind of gently looks away, so, so I can't I see can't him can't see looking me. guilty. <laughs> Hi. Phoenix, did you set off a fireball at my own going away party? Now, I do imagine, actually, again, that they did not rent this entire club. 
I think there are tons of people here that are not part of her party, and that's why she keeps having to go search for the people that are part of her party. Yes. That is why I think it is super crowded, because it is a normal night at a normal nightclub. It is, you know, bang in there, essentially, and you have your party wandering around and mingling together. Uh-huh. And maybe a table that you've booked or something, or like Rai did, the VIP area, except for he was like, no one else is allowed here. This isn't your party space. This is if you want to spend time with just me. Just me. By myself. Us. For me. Yeah. Um, no, it's fine. You know what? Party. Is this party for me or for you? Party, party, party. I'm gonna go dance. Bye. Hi, Keith. My own going away party? I swear. It was a total accident. I thought I knew what I was doing. And while a lot of I studied people, things. I know fire, okay? I really do understand. I honestly contained it before it burned everyone's hair off. I really did. Like, it, it, it exploded and then it I just stopped it. It would burn everyone's hair off? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, a lot of hair that's not, you know, is really flammable on regular humans, you know, like, and stuff like that. I just, but nobody got injured. Like I really, Honestly, it's like, I actually, contained it's it. It's a thing though. Of like, fire dragons actually set their own hair on fire, and it never like burns down or burns off. It's so kind of fun. I ran into people where their hair burns so off. Like, you just no. Like there's this fun thing where you just cause like, yourself in steno, and then you just set it on fire. It's just blue and beautiful on I your head. Right, and it's like actually a thing that we do. Yeah, you like wear it down your clothes, or like you have it on your whole cape. It's really pretty. Looks... Like none of our clothes are flammable. That'd be stupid. That'd be completely ridiculous. Like especially because we, I mean, we don't wear them very often. Yeah, well, we don't wear a whole lot. We like a lot of like metal and jewelry, and that's really about it because it's really beautiful in the light. Uh huh. Yeah, catches really sparkly. nice. And in regards to like the fire, sometimes that we like it though, will we melt down like the jewelry on us? Yeah, and, you and just I guess have, it's like, really dripping, neat, rivulets. Beautiful stuff, yeah. And you just place gemstones in it. It's really pretty. And then it goes actually a part of with like the burning. And then when the burning actually runs out, because we can let it you know boil off. Obviously. Right. Yeah. Then actually all you have to do is have all these lines that are lining all your scales, and you look really cool. It's very. Pretty. It's called. It looks a lot like that. What's it called? Kintsugi or whatever. The heck it is in Japan? But the thing they do with the broken stuff and they put it back together. So we're not broken. We're not it bro also reminds me a little bit of like your your sort of like sort of like crabby art of like body painting. I hate to say that, but it's really it seems very shoddy for the most sometimes. part. Like like it's super made out of this really flimsy plastic material. Like it's terrible. It seems like it wouldn't last at all. Small. That was really cool. Also, what? you're naked. Also, two, also everybody's what? running around wearing nothing but jewelry all the time. You are the dragon hoarders that are also all just the harem archetype stereotype thing. He's you like, wear... what? No, I've seen the harem archetype thingy. They wear more pants than we do. Yeah, wear more pants. They wear more like gauze and like fluff Flemmies. and like, like they have fluff. That orientalism thing is actually really weird. It's sort of weird, yeah. Anyway, yeah. so we just wear a lot of danglies and we like them to sparkle and jingle. I'm not saying that I don't think that like the style is fun, but it's definitely not the culture. I looked up the culture. That culture doesn't Yeah, it have doesn't. That. They really don't look like that. Because honestly, like when you're in the heat and all that desert, it makes sense. Human beings burn really easily, so, so why would they the ever... Skin. You cover your skin. Yeah, like, why would they? Like, why? I mean, maybe you could dress like that in a tent if you yeah, wanted to. You. You're not really aware. It's like, oh, well, you see, um, I re met this really cool librarian guy. He was so cute. And I just, I just, he was really in off on this particular tirade of Orientalism. So I just spent a whole day with him when, you know, you were dating one of the other ones. And I just learned about it. And I thought it was more interesting. So I had Rai help me with the internet thing again. And I just, I did it. It was great. It was cool. Yeah, I like it. really good at I spent a lot too. of time on Wikipedia. I like I that. I did. The Wikipedia is pretty good. A super convenient. Humans are good at least for something, eh? All right, you got, you got a few things figured out. <laughs> right. My hands kind of slipped you know like i, I get the thing going i really was i was trying to like do this thing that I'd i was just pouring all these shots and then i just kind of like poured it everywhere and it was just an accident and i um, because that was how you do it and that's how i was doing it. Uh, do you realize those things require a lot of skill and the people who do them in videos make them look very easy even though they're not because they've been doing it for so long no okay <laughs> that that was well, that fair reasonable because they, they never tell, tell you really uh, accurate all right uh, hey just then I realize Phoenix is staring at me strangely Oh, in we're the middle wet. of the crowd as everyone is rushing by. And I realize I wore a white shirt to work today. And I'm also like, we still, dragons still don't know what to do with breasts. They're still like, and brows. he's like, you know, I've wanted to ask you forever. What are those things on your chest? What are they <laughs> for? Are they like, is that like a secret like defense mechanism? Is it like for display? Or like, is it like a posturing kind of thing? Like, is it honestly like, like a weapon? Is that Phoenix, you, you've what? done all this research on the internet and you didn't look up what boobs were? No, why would I look those up? Small has them, I figured you should tell me. I 
That's sort of a little bit. I, I thought it's a just... level of being a little racially insensitive. Okay, look, I've seen a lot of people with him. All right, I just assumed that eventually I'd block it from context. You know, you got all these these mostly like women just really wearing them out there, and it seems to be some sort of like a dominance display, like when they you know bigger and they show them more kind of thing. It's like I'm in charge. So I thought it might be like you know like frills or like puffing up your throat like a frog kind of thing, and then you just wear them smaller. Oh, when right, you're more that chill. conversation that we've had before. Yeah, yeah I think that might be it. But so I'm not you sure. You still didn't use the internet. No, I uh, know I didn't. I uh, I don't really like the internet, just to be honest. Well, what? It's just that um, your clothes are wet and um, they're kind of clinging to you. And um, have I ever mentioned that I kind of like? I think you're really well put together. Like you, you're not. You're not. Um, I like bodies too. Just so you know, generally it's. Eek! Oh my god. <laughs> So, so this bad. is where we're gonna go. And I smack myself harder against him so he can't see. And I go, wait, that's worse. I, Somehow, him. I have I, no context for this behavior, though. So what do I care? There, out where? Out where? You can't exit the building looking like this, maybe. You, you guys can't... are just standing there while a mob, apparently an endless mob, rushes past you, and you just keep getting rain poured on you. Mob. Da, 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 da. Are we gonna? Is there an option to premium with him where he helps us change our clothes? Is this what this is? Hi, I hope so. Or dry our clothes in the bathroom, and he stands and he like stands in there with us while we dry it under the hand dryer for nine years. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, this is so boring. Why won't you let me fix your clothes? No, nope, I don't trust you. No, I will right do now. it myself. You'll burn my clothes up. You really have no faith in my skills. Do you realize how insulting that is? It's like me telling you I don't trust you to breathe. Oh my god, this is a whole life. I am the fire, just so you know. I am literally the fire prince. Like, that's what I'm dragons. Do you Dra know how Dragon stupid it would be if I couldn't control it? It'd be like you. Unintelligibly, like, like. It'd be like. A ramshackle display of me. Like, really? Do you know how disabled I would be if I couldn't control my fire? Like it would be a, it's a literal condition and it's really sad, okay? And like I could work, I control my, I'm very abled in that way and I'm very capable and I've started, it's like breathing, it's just a piece of you, okay? Some people have asthma and they have a hard time with it, but you don't, all right? Let me just fix it, okay? I got it. I can't. I think I saw a back door out of here. Apparently. Like, I because... swear to God, the writers are not nearly as inventive as us. Also going, why are we trying to leave <laughs> I'm the like, place? dang it! Like, the fire, like, like, why, the fire alarm didn't come on, just the sprinklers. Just the sprinklers. So... No fire alarm, which is very unusual, because usually when the sprinklers go off, especially in a venue like this, you immediately have a fire alarm. And because that's how alarm. that works. Yep. Because it's a safety concern. Also, My everyone's dudes. screaming and running out of here kind of thing, going, are we trying to leave? And also, like, like I, I don't know. Like, you, the thing you're concerned about is not the mob rushing around you anymore, or being in Phoenix's arms, or it's, it's just being the way you look when you're wet and that you can't go outside that way. Um, really? Priorities of the Feels weird. It's fine. I'll get you to safety. Uh, he holds his hand out, his hand out to me. Okay, he's holding on to me. Arms yes. wrapped around me. And then he holds it, reaches at one of his arms back and holds it out to my hand. <laughs> like, I... People are not... Th I feel like... Did you pay attention to what you last said we were doing? Nope! I'm sorry! <laughs> I am the good... I'm sorry, I don't want to make fun of these writers. This is a thing to learn, but it is also a thing to learn. Like, really, genuinely. It's my guys, an editor about. also needs to catch this kind of crap. Because uh -huh. sometimes even the best of writers, because they're tired, and they wrote one thing one night, and then they wake up in the morning, and they forgot where they were, but they had this great idea, and then they kept writing, and they forgot uh -huh. to go back and read, and then they go... Or someone else is the person who goes back and reads, and they go, this sounds great, but they're not thinking about pieces of continuity, going, again, did he wrap his arms around us, then release us when the mob stopped running back because everyone else has already evacuated the building? Apparently! Even though the other dragons wouldn't look for us at, at all. all. This is fine. Nor would Dylan have a complete and utter awareness of everything because it's all covered in water. <sighs> like, this is my world, literally. I literally do not understand. Anyway, so I feel like that would that would. I be mean, I do understand. I understand words. I have comprehension skills. I have. I have. They are. They are. Uh, they are. Table. With what you have set up, this sounds weird. I Pep. no comprende. I hashtag. It sounds fake. fake. It sounds fake, but okay. All right, escape with Phoenix. Stop him. I. I was gonna get out the freaking door. It's fine. Stop him from helping me leave. What? Why? Okay. So 
reasons I might stop him going, no, we shouldn't use a back door because we wouldn't be with the crowd. It might be hard to account for us. Uh, stop him going, I don't want to go with you. We should find the other party I guests. I my friend immediately going, safety precautions in regards to being a manager. Whenever you had a fire alarm go off, you all have to go out in the front in the one area going, oh my God, is anybody left inside? And you have it's to all the... be counted. And there's a lot of legal ramifications of if you can't account for your entire employee staff, you know who was there that day and who was not there that day. And then you know, so you have a real accurate list. And everyone yes. has to go to the same place, not to their cars or anything, so they can be counted for roll call. So we know if there is a real emergency, when your emergency responders get there, whether Want they are to fire people them. or whatever, yeah. you can tell them accurately whether or not there's anyone in the building. Yes. Anyone from your team, at least. Yes. And so, like, if you, like, it's really, really important that you go, oh, well, the fire alarm went off, so I just went home. Like, you're going, no, they need to know you're not in that building. And actually, you can be legally accountable under many um, uh, agreements that you sign with your job when you get them for the lives of the people who went in to try and save you because they believed you were in there because you didn't follow, follow protocol. Like, it's, a, it's an important thing. So for me, reasons I would escape with Phoenix, I want to get out of here. Two, I want this to be done with. Three, I don't want to, you know, I just, he could solve the problem and I don't have to think. I, I just like... I, I think it's reasonable to pick it. I'm also like, I don't understand in terms of... So we've had this question before of where sometimes their premium options seem really weird to us yeah. because it's like, it's just sort of a choice. It's not a, let's have more romantic times. So what are we doing with premium choices? Are they romantic times or are they just sort of meh? Or if it turns into romantic times, Escape with Phoenix doesn't sound romantic in this moment. No It okay. sounds like my going away party that I already had a lot of anxiety about because I'm super anxious about going away at all and the reasons for it is now turned into into a giant stampede of people with, you know, rain and, you know, like fire, you know, um, control systems and explosions. And I'm just feeling really worn out and overwhelmed at the moment. And no, nothing is going to go right in my real life. And everything is just happening to me. And I have no agency all at right. all. And then going, yeah, I just want to get out of here. Yeah, no kidding. Why would I stop him? Stop him. I don't even care. Anyway, I don't, we're going to We can just leave with him. It's fine. We're going to go fine. with Phoenix. Here. Okay, let's go. Like, please, I... That's the back of the building. <laughs> Look at oh, the my. crunching crunch, crunch, crunch. shoes and the gravel Also, sound. do you know where this is? Because oh. I know where this is. Where is this? This is where Jackson was. Remember where he kept going to the alley? Like, and this was one of the places. But this is the other side of it. So oh. the other side is where you see the building. But we you hand over the, a couple the, of times. This thing? is, as far as I remember, please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is where we were with Jackson in Howie Beast Boys. Boys. This is super funny. Like, this is like the scene they kept using over and over and over again whenever he was like, what walking do I outside. do? It's nighttime and I'm walking outside and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this was the And same. the moon will come up only at night because it doesn't exist during the day. Oh, no. So sad. All right. All right. It should be safe to be mostly naked now. I, I mean, to be also, exposed now. Also, why do I now. care about being mostly I mean, naked? To, I'm also like the... It should be safe to be seen for you who does Again, not want to be seen. This is the other thing that I get irritated in regards to the confident sexual character trope, yeah. right? Where it's like, you wouldn't necessarily care about it because you are confident. You're like, and if there is sex or sexuality or bodies, I don't mind. But okay. people, for some reason... And I know why, because they're, again, trying to make sex out as basically this incredibly personal, deeply, overly intimate, like, you must control it. It is not allowed to be a free or open or you basically just comfortable tone. Like, yep. Yeah, I'm like, I don't like this attitude at all. Uh -huh. And it bugs me. I'm like... Let Phoenix be completely fine with this and not have any issue with it. The reason you run out with Phoenix is because actually Phoenix is the one who's not going to judge you or get upset about it because Dylan would get upset and freak out. Okay, by Ryan the way. Ryan would go, I'm going to more or less, I feel like he would actually kind of get in your way. Right, by the way, by what? the way. Okay, how tall is he compared to us? Like, he's quite a bit taller than us, right? Yeah. And he's wearing a jacket and a waistcoat and a shirt, right? Yeah. Imagine if he just took his jacket off and gave it to us. <gasps> Shock. Imagine how cool that would look. For him, because they keep wanting to show him off more than the other ones physically, because he wears the least, he has the most get exposed, right? Yep. And like, they're very much like, body, Phoenix is the body one, right? He's the body. He's the I just, and this being like, body. imagine the missed opportunity where you're trying to make people hot. If he just takes off his coat and gives it to you, and they draw him with his arms exposed. Yeah. Like, and that would be amazing. I would be for that, and I would be like, oh, damn. And then you're standing there in his jacket, and you can make all kinds of nonsense. Like, it smells like, you know, a hearth kind of thing. Right. It smells amazing and warm, like comfort and, you know, bur fresh burning fire and that right. kind of thing. That really clean, good wood smoke that you get sometimes. Ah, yes. And you're just like, and then you have to think about it, and that it's warm, and that everything under it starts drying suddenly and steaming a bit as you wear this beautiful jacket. And also, it's very warm, and you're like, ooh, this is toasty. Yeah, it's a little bit toasty, and he's like, It'll cool off, don't worry. It's going to be all right. <laughs> but, okay. like, there's such a missed opportunity here. Like, I know you'd have to illustrate him without his shirt, like without his jacket on. But like, if you wanted more intimacy, especially you want them to be closer, 
Putting small, and you want tropes. Have a guy put the jacket on the girl. You want to use tropes? That's a freaking trope. It's a huge trope, actually. Huge ass trope, and it would be very cute in this scene. I always talk about using tropes where they fit really well. Right. And I think you're so There's a embarrassed reason. in the way you look. So now Phoenix the... may not connect you being embarrassed right. about how you look in the same way because he's not embarrassed, and he's defined bodies as embarrassing. But anyway, you were gonna say? No, no. But I was also gonna say in regards to where people are like ah tropes and stereotypes are the worst thing ever. I'm like. Good shorthand is shorthand for a reason, and when it's used applicably and used well, okay. like uh, like e so that you cannot avoid using tropes and stereotypes for the entirety of the world. The reason why they are helpful and useful is because they are good shorthand. Do you know why tropes become tropes? Because they work so well, so many people use them. Yes, that's it. And because they usually work so well for the few authors or creators that establish them, or even one iconic establishment that everybody went. Oh my God, that's so freaking cool. I want to do that too. Right? And it really was. And you might go back and read older works, as my friends talked about before, like with the dragons of Pern and stuff like that. Going, right. This feels so tropey, but that was the standard. Yeah. She established so many of those things that you see in hundreds of other books over and over again. Uh huh. There's going, also the thing like J.R.R. Tolkien. Those aren't tropes. Those are the groundwork uh -huh. that created the tropes because they were so freaking cool. Everyone, <coughs> I want to write the shit he was writing uh -huh. and even more. I'm actually really Ratchet surprised it up to 10. in some ways that we don't have more references in this story to like other, like basically like homages or callbacks or call outs mm -hmm. or shout outs to basically other dragon material. I know, Because right? that would be so cool. Like of just basically all these tiny references. Here's Anne McCaffrey's work. Here's like uh, God Dealing work. with Dragons. Here's Tolkien. Here's all these other guys like yeah. why not it would be really interesting or really cool even in sense of like a cultural call out it also would be hilarious that you want to throw random hilarious stuff in there to be like yeah the you know the um fire dragons are the hoarders because they love shiny things that the flame sparkles off of and they love to melt it and play with it right i mean you really could do like you could I... you could link it all the time to other uh, things people you could also going far enough blame your water dragons for sunken ships and things like you could you could go places with this right or you could connect it again to those other the tropes of going, you know, you could literally have Dylan going, yes, we are very dignified. We have this thing. It's very important. And sometimes when you know, they basically, and you know, you guys have a history. Let me connect you a little bit. You guys have a history of a legend of the Kraken. When we used to swim about in your own world. Right. While we didn't destroy things, everyone loved telling giant stories. Who was telling those stories as the ship went down? Uh -huh. like that kind of thing. And so they would call us Krakens. Dragon. Like, you could do so much with it. It would be so much fun. Well, anyway, thank you very much, guys, then, for joining us. Yes. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, save us from the algorithm. Yay. If, if you have time. It totally makes sense. It's it's quite all right. We appreciate your support. We love having you here. Yes. Um, also, if you'd like to support us more directly, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or our Patreon. we got some links in the description down below. If you'd like to tip us or just support us generically or even just sponsor us actually to play a game. Yep. But other than that, I have been Scandal. And I have been lies. And, and it was great, great playing with you. Bye!